so, after an all too brief celebration for the Weeping Knight's return, the kingdom entered the third week of darkness. The evil Saad would not be foiled again, but this time she decided to play with her prey before killing it, much like the kittens she so loved to snack on. So the evil Saad made a deal with the Weeping Knight and his beautiful bride, who offered to do Saad's bidding in exchange for Saad sparing their lives. The evil Saad never intended to keep such a deal, but used it as an opportunity to punish those who defied her wishes. And so the evil Saad mocked two of the villagers for death. The once powerful wizard, whose only remaining magical power was a few pieces of magic feed corn that could make reindeer fly. And the minister of the hamster watch, whose obsession with hamsters disturbed the evil Saad, who hated all things cute and fuzzy, preferring them served warm with their precious little hearts still beating. Okay, H.R., I get it. The evil Saad is evil. Now please stop before you make people sick. If you thought that was sick, squirrel, you're gonna love this next bit. The villagers were given a test of skill to save a damn one of their own. To ensure he won the contest, the minister of the hamster watch promised the royal king a lifetime supply of hamsters to shove up his butt, oh good gravy, which the royal king eagerly accepted, thus sealing the weeping knight's fate to die once again as a testament to the evil sod's power. Blah, 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 blah. Brendan, I have some bad news for you, buddy. Rachel's pregnant? You're not funny, squirrel. I guarantee you people laughed at that, H.R. Well, except maybe the haters who now have the dry heaves. Can't you find a dead tree to haunt? Sure, but it's more fun bothering you. You suck, squirrel. Brendan, the bad news is those million-plus America's votes you thought you got, well, they weren't from your fans. They were from Jeff and Jordan worshippers trying to protect Jeff from Danny and the Dingleberries. Unfortunately, parental hate is still alive and well outside the house. What are you looking at me for, H.R.? Eh, the good news is, is you didn't do much damage to Jeff and Jordan's game before getting re-evicted. So I'm pretty sure the Jorf army won't be waiting with tar and feathers for you when you get out. So have fun and jury, and I'll be sure to take good care of Rachel for you. So I guess we can expect another week of you hiding under things. Shut up, squirrel. My woman loves me.